Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, happy Monday. If you guys do not know, it is Sean P. Diddy Combs' birthday, okay? And right now, there's a bit of controversy going around because for his birthday, he is currently locked up. You know, we're used to seeing him partying with the best of the best, having some of the biggest celebrities come in and partying with him. Because as we all know, ain't no party like a Diddy party. Ain't that right, LeBron? Oh, ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. That's up. And you about only E.T. scored an exclusive <laughs> invite inside. <laughs> Among the more than 600 guests, <laughs> Kanye reuniting with Jay-Z, Hovind Ye hugged it out after a rumored feud. Their wives both on hand, Beyonce was bumping on the dance floor with Kelly Rowland, and Jay wasn't having it when this guy tried to record them. Kim showed up with her sisters, including Kylie. Their exes, Ray J and Tyga, were also there. There were musicians, movie stars. Leonardo DiCaprio got a beer hug with Liftoff. And Diddy was clearly feeling the 90s jams, turning it out with a spirit in Kevin Hart. The birthday boy had his twin girls by his side. They don't turn 13 until this coming weekend, but had their own bash the night before. Their dad actually turned the Big 5-0 on November 4th, but wanted to honor his ex, their late mom, Kim Porter. She would have turned 49 yesterday, so Diddy moved both celebrations and posted this heartfelt video captioned, We love you. Yeah! Happy birthday to me. Unlike his party that he had last year or his huge extravagant 50th birthday party that he had with Jay-Z and Kim Kardashian, Beyonce and so many celebrities, Sean Diddy Combs is spending his 55th birthday behind bars, okay? And for his birthday, this is what he wants. He has asked for a gag order and his lawyer is basically petitioning the courts that they want all potential witnesses in his criminal and civil cases silenced from doing media interviews. If you guys do not know, there is a man named um, Courtney Burgess, and he claims to be an alleged friend of Kim Porter. And basically, he's been going on this hobo tour with his attorney, Ariel Mitchell, and constantly talking about the Diddy case, talking about the book and the videos that Kim Porter gave him. And so they're basically saying that this is not a good look. This is tainting the jury. You know, this is just so much going on. And he's saying that the video basically is a freak off. And also the videos feature minors as well. So I want you guys to watch some of these clips of Courtney Burgess out on this hobo tour. Go ahead and check this out. Out of those eight videos, eight celebrities, six men and two women, how many of those eight celebrities um, were, were close to being underage or potentially two, underage? Two males. Two males. And of those eight celebrities, how many of them were intoxicated um, or under the influence of drugs? Uh, 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 this is going to be all speculation. I just want to preface it by he wouldn't know if appeared they to be. were. Right, sure. appear to Let be. Let me rephrase right, it. Based on, yes. Understand. Out of the eight celebrities, um, who were recorded having intimate relations with Sean Combs, how many of them appear to be either inebriated or intoxicated or into the influence? All of them. of them. All of them. Out of those eight, how many appear to be potentially victimized? How many might have been victimizing? I think um, all. 
to be honest, all were were victims or victims. were perpetrating. Victims. They were all eight were victimized. Yeah, meaning victim. this was happening to them and they were inebriated. Right. Not knowing, I guess, how much proof it was in it, whatever they was doing. And of those eight, how many seemed to be potentially minors? Two to three, possibly three. I watched your YouTube interview. I saw as of two weeks ago they haven't been in contact with you. What about today? Yes. So they have been in contact with you. Is that why you're here today? Yes. Okay. Homeland Security. Oh, wow. Yes. So they. So were you surprised or was that the call that you were kind surprise. of waiting for? Surprised. Oh. Do you feel like the interview had, like, like had anything to do with it or? Yes. Yeah? Um, how do you know Sean Combs? Generation. You know, Frank Lucas was my godfather and his father, and then we both was in the music business since, for 30 years together. So you personally know him, had Not who, no who personally. Uh, Sean Combs. Not City. personally. But you know of him, he knows I of know you. Of him, yeah, I used to be in Tupac, Hussein Fatal. He stopped a lot of my music. Um, a lot of other people who didn't care about him. You understand? That's not around today. Right, so- um, I'm sure, from Def Jam Records. Mm -hmm. um, you made a lot of allegations, right? Um, are you expected to eventually turn those things over? or Well, that's what we're gonna head over to do now. So we have a hearing now to determine what we're gonna do in terms of what documents we'll, be, we'll have to turn over and what documents we do not. Have. So why were you in court today? Just to give testimony to the grand jury. Um, he was subpoenaed by the court. So as we all know, if you don't answer a subpoena, you will, the marshals will come to your house as they came to his house and they will bring you here. So that's why we're here today. I know you can't mention celebrities per se. You did mention some in the, in the interview. Um, so just to clarify, you can back that up with actual factual footage. We, we yeah. have, yeah, it's things that we have, but we gotta go to the other courthouse. So I don't know if that's the, any more questions, but we kinda got another hearing. To go Are you nervous or do you feel cool? Nah, I ain't never nervous. The only thing that's fair to me is God. You did mention what was on the flash drive before. Would you be able to kind of go over that now, or is that something that you can't discuss? No, we're trying to just go to discuss that now. What we will be able to talk to in terms of what was available and what what was on those flash drives. Okay, but it was the book. So, so it so so it is Kim Porter's book, but not necessarily some of the stuff with the celebs that were mentioned. Besides, it's hers. Nobody touched it. Oh, so it is her official yes. book. Yes. Nobody and, and and no one touched Nobody it. Nobody altered it. So it's not the copy that the gentleman said that he was selling before. No. No. It's two different copies. That one was edited, and we have the original copy. So you're saying that the other copy was an actual real copy, even though it the family a, said it, it was wasn't. It was a derivative work. It was edited. It was the only way the family yeah. say that is because um, I forgot his name. I'll be sure. Yeah. Yeah. And besides that, I didn't know. A lot of stuff their mother did, they didn't know. Hmm. I'd like to say apologize to the mother and the family for the picture being on front of it. Right. You understand? I didn't put it there. Right. So, you know, they got to worry about bigger things. Right. Than what her diary was. You understand? Right. They should have started worrying when he was beating her. Right. When you start worrying about your mother after the fact. Right. So, the book, do you think that now, do you think it'll ever like be open to the public or after this or? Uh, that'll be the next thing. We'll, we'll, I've been contracted to go to Amazon and work out whatever legalities that may have existed prior so that we can republish the book. Wow, so the public will get to see her actual words yes. and thoughts. So, so, very soon, the actual unedited version. We'll that, that out, so. so I mean, I'm so I'm wondering, do you own the rights? I guess, or how does that work? I guess own rights was given to me, right? Okay, possession is not for the law. So. Can help make them pursue and make them pay for this counsel. Get out in front of it. Yeah, because it ain't fair. You know, it ain't fair for this young lady who just texted me and said that. You got a lot of people asking about the tunnels you just mentioned. The tunnels, he bought the house because he knew it was tunnels there. That's why he bought the house. 
Wow. That's how they travel through wherever they travel. Yeah, look who was there first. Before, not the house, but the um, Playboy guy, I forgot his name. Hefner. Hugh so Hefner. If, I'm, if I'm in the house with my wife and I cheat, when I cheat, I can sneak through the tunnel and go sneak over there. But whoever first build them houses, they knew what they was doing. Because them tunnels ain't like, look at the tunnel they did, got our chapel out of jail. So they know they was doing. He came up right through his shower, right fitting in his shower. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it goes back. I wouldn't worry about the tunnels. He told about Michael Jackson still alive. Michael Jackson ain't do no crime. So if even if he is alive, he don't want to be bothered. Some people don't want to be bothered. Like, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. 35 years. Yeah, yeah I'm tired. You've been asked, what do you know about Corey Gamble? He is cleanup guy. You know what He put him with Justin. That's why Justin, did he know what Justin was at every minute, every time. he walk up on him. Y'all seen the video. Yo, why don't got your new number? Why you dodging me? He looking around, how did he know? But you got to ask, how did Justin get in his hand? Because Justin, Timberland had him first. But Usher, they helped Bell, uh, buy him out. So what was the real purpose? You understand? Did they buy him or did they scare him? Then you got Usher. How Usher got there? So somebody always selling somebody off. Rick Ross sold off Meek Mills. You understand? Meek Mills won a better career. He that was awful. Christy wants to know Clive Calder Jive Records RCA many links. What do you think should be done to change, protect, stop? this from happening again? Bankrupt them, take the label, uh, let them be roommate. That's the only way you're going to stop because Diddy today, who's tomorrow? Yeah. Who's tomorrow? Who was before Diddy? And who was before that person? You know what I'm saying? It ain't just started. I hope they don't think all it just started because Diddy was doing it. They just taught him. He put his twist in it. It's been like this. You know what I'm saying? And, Do you and think now, the, the, le the leaked phone call from jail was legit? Um, I want I want to know did anybody crack the code to it? I don't know. They claim it was kids. If kids ain't pizza, kids is not called pizza. What Trade. kids called? They usually say Skittles, you know, a candy thing because it's kids, or color, or a cartoon, or Barney, or you know what I'm saying? They tell you Barbie, that's a beautiful girl. You know what I'm saying? Piece of who, you know, they like um with a piece of face. You know what I'm saying? You got caviar taste, but a piece of face. That's the old saying. You got cat. That means you want a beautiful girl, but you're looking like you got a piece of face. So pizza don't go with what they say. Do I know believe it's true? AI hey, doing so much, we can't know. You gotta really look at it. You understand? The girl been asked, been kind of You've been asked what's the worst, what's all the craziest things you've come across or seen? The what's the craziest thing I've seen? Yeah. I came across. Um uh, self looking down the gun. Two kids with a gun shooting. The craziest thing I've seen, uh, not seeing, it's more hearing it, is me taking my artists all the way from Jersey, all the way to Atlanta, have him cut off his childhood dreads and turn around. He looks so determined to them, they want to pass around. Want me to sell it to him, and then they give me the deal. You know how I felt to tell him he don't got the deal. He don't cut off the dress his mother made for. Damn. Wow. That's the, that's the most. You understand? And I tried to get them back. I was on kidnap Foxy Brown. You understand? Fatal was messing with it. She just left dad's. We was at the studio. Jay-Z called to the studio. Told her not to do the song with Fatal. Who saying Fatal was, was with Pop. He wants to get out the way. Yo, Biggie Small just got dropped. Did him up. So I had big draws with me. Wendy Williams is calling me. He started to William Williams. And I had my limo. I just bought a limo. And I said, um, you're going to kidnap her. She 
made me waste my money and I done lost the artists up in um, Atlanta. So they left. No hug, they don't went to the hotel. I got there. They liked me there downstairs. He said, Yeah, they're upstairs. So men draw a shot upstairs. Yo, big draws. I said, Big draws, you got that on. We had, we just, you know, we always stay strapped because, you know, he said, Yeah, she in the, she in the hotel, she in the room. I said, We're going to kidnap her. I said, Draws, get some of them sheets off the thing. Fatal started laughing real hard, like, Nah, y'all chill. You need money. I said, nah, I don't need no money. I'm serious. We outlaws. What do you think Pocket doing here is here right now? You know, you see how he did on um, Faith. I got Wendy Williams. I call her and say, look, we got a shoe. We got a pocketbook. It just sell records. You understand? He said, nah, I'm mad, though. I go downstairs. I said, come on, George. Come down there. We drop off in the limo. I go home, drop everybody off. I'm cleaning the car out because they, you know, blowing back. And her pocketbook is stuffed in my bar. I pull out. She had stacks of money. I did. So I said, yo, Dave, with um Foxy left for pop. He said, where is she even sitting about it? She wanted us to kidnap her. Because she wasn't selling records either. I saw her at the summer fest, I gave her a bag. She didn't even look at it. Next thing you know, three days later, she made like somebody broke in the house and robbed the entire sell records. That's the stuff I was on. That's how I was trying to sell records. Not sit on somebody's lap. Not tell them, look, if you do this to me, that's how I was doing. You can call it real gangster stuff. I call it um, publicity stuff. That's all. I told him, look, Def Jam and Relativity is settled that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't killing. We just being outlaws. Do you want to remind people where they can get the book? Yes. Um, you could get it at one second. You get it at J A M A L dash. Millwood.com. And I'm putting a link in the chat right now. And there's also going to be a link in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate y'all, Sean. I gotta, appreciate gotta, you. Gotta hook up when I come out there. Say that again, sorry? You gotta hook up when I come out there. Yeah, get out no, here, man. No, no Lucifer, though. No Lucifer. That's some business. That's all. Have you been to, Have you been to England before? Have I been to England? Yes, England, uh, Amsterdam, France. Um, I haven't been over in years. Akasaki, Japan. I'm not a really flight person, but I got to do it. I got to do it. You know, it's good to get out the states, but I like coming around August and September. Well, you let us know. We'll take care of you. Okay, I appreciate that. No we, worries, and we appreciate we everything go down in May. They say we have more to talk about before then, but we gonna have a lot to talk about before then because something big going down this week. Everybody going to the um, grand jury, so I, you'll hear about who all that. I love to come back. You had me. absolutely all right. You guys just saw those clips. So this is what Mark Angenfiliano is saying. Um, so Mark and Tani Garagos, they submitted a motion to the United States District Judge on Sunday night, urging the court to immediately restrain extrajudicial statements by potential witnesses and their counsels while the court waits, while the court waits to hear both parties' arguments. The 55-year-old's defense team first asked for the gag order in late October, pointing to at least a dozen new civil lawsuits filed against Combs after his September arrest. While the court hasn't made a ruling yet, Combs's team re-upped their request after Florida-based attorney Ariel Mitchell and her client Courtney Burgess went on a press tour last week. They're claiming that Burgess possesses videos of Combs allegedly assaulting celebrities, including minors, and was testifying in front of the grand jury. Combs' attorney vehemently denies the existence of such videos and are requesting a gag order to be granted and implemented immediately. These stories have spread rapidly through the media and created the impression that such such videos exist, which are false, and that the government is actually crediting his sensational claims, which is profoundly prejudicial. 
By treating these ridiculous claims as anything but a pathetic extortion scheme, the government is fueling the fire of online conspiracy theories and making it impossible for Mr. Combs to have a fair trial. So that is his birthday wish to basically silence all of these people doing these hobo tours. Um, and you know what? Honestly, I don't blame him. I do feel like if you have these tapes, give them to the feds, give them to the police and let everything play out in court. You have a lot of people who are, I feel, trying to capitalize off of this situation, coming out the woodwork. There's all types of security guards doing interviews and pastors. Like, everybody's coming out the woodwork. But this man has been a so-called monster for years, and none of these people were saying anything. Outside of Gene Deal and Mark Curry, you really didn't hear from all these people that are now coming out and doing all of these interviews. So I understand them wanting a gag order, but the problem is Diddy's attorney is also an attention seeker. Let's not forget how many TMZ interviews he's done, how many documentaries he's been in, and the trial is not until next year. So he needs to practice what he also preaches and stop with his own hobo tours before wanting to gag other people. But it is starting to be a bit much. It's very interesting how everybody's coming out now with a Diddy story, but for years these same people were silent. Now, it looks like Courtney Burgess went on to the Sean Atwood show with Jaguar Wright just a bit ago, and Jaguar Wright snapped on him. This clip is currently going viral all over Twitter, so this is kind of breaking news. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Oh, couple since then, my phone was taken from me. What I had in it was sent to me. Jag Wash is off the hook. Right now, I'm tired. I don't want to be here. It's a gag war that I shouldn't be talking about what's going on. I was not a witness for Sean against him. I'm here only for my friends. Tupac Shakur. That's the only one I'm here for that was taken away from here. And that Did just you just say that? Yes. Oh, you a whole cloud chaser. Hold up. I'm not a cloud chaser. No, no. no. I'm not saying nothing. You wasn't saying nothing about nothing. Uh-uh, no, no. I'm calling me. I'm calling me. We're going to talk to somebody who actually knew Tupac. Leach. I'm sitting here with the uh, with the Courtney Burgess guy. Oh, that's dope. He said he doing everything he's doing for Pop. Oh, that's my nigga. That's what's up. Pop is my brother. I know Pac is your brother. But I don't understand how this book with Tim Porter got anything to do with Pop. Yeah, what's the thing with that? That's crazy. Interesting. Oh. What, what does this Kim Porter sex stuff got to do with Pop? How you getting justice for Pop? Talking smack on a woman's body count after she did. Yeah, right. That's crazy. Yeah, what's up with that? Meech, what you talking about? Uh, He's I asking hear you. you what I'm asking you. What does Kim Porter's book and all of the sexual conquests and stuff that was published in there, what that got to do with Tupac? First of all, it was all I did was got the, the flash drive, went down the book. I did not write the book. Exactly. Ain't nobody fitting to slander Pac. Nah, we can't do that shit. Bro. That's how. Who does that? Fuck Kim Porter. That's how he feels about it. That ain't, one thing ain't got nothing to do with the other. You can't chasing. This is Nobody too much. No, sir. Hold up, Jaguar. Let, let me let me let you talk. Oh, come up here now that you, you don't. Hold up, hold up, hold up. And, and, and you, you, this person got nothing to do with none of this. I gave you respect. I gave you a spot. Don't. Hey, I will Carry on, Courtney. Uh, I'm going to mute up, Meech. Yeah, he said he wouldn't do that. Apples and oranges. You've been warned. I'm going to tell you just like this. Dad war. I don't care what you got to say. You've been warned. You big Apples and oranges. Could I talk? Could I yeah. talk? Yeah. And say something. Come on, Courtney. Respond. 
I can't respond because I didn't hear what she's saying. Do you want to just respond to what you heard, the conversation I, I, on the know phone? What? I will let her go ahead and do it, and I do what, what I got to say. Because Jaguar, she's off the hook like she always been. She's a failure to the industry because she only got far as she got. And that's this high. Well, wait a minute, Meech. Now he's talking about my career. You know what I'm saying? Meech, I don't know you. And I don't know you, Jagger. Senior, sir. What do you say? That, yeah, that, that, yeah, like he said, that don't mean nothing. That you don't know him. Everybody relevant does. Question is, why don't nobody know you? Because you know what? I'm not a cloud chaser, like you say. You are cloud chaser. Chase. You just brought up Tupac me, and he ain't got nothing to do with this book. Because I don't have nothing to do with the book, but publishing it. That's I mean, so I should not have been included in that farce. Tupac's name should not be included in that farce. That woman's personal life has nothing to do with the legacy of Tupac. Cut it out. First, listen. Cut it out. No, you cut it out. That one. You, you, you don't want cloud chasing. You don't want cloud chasing. Oh, wait, hold up. Producer and friend. That's my friend. That's not a Every, cloud chaser. You cloud chasing. Because did nobody talk you about it? He's been in jail for 30 years. He's been in jail for... Somebody that know pop. Honey, child. That whole conversation was a mess. Jag was not here for it. But now in other Diddy news, honey. Uh, they are once again trying to humanize him for the public because of all these stories. So they made sure to have his youngest daughter love, get up on top of the table with her siblings and Chance on the phone and Diddy on the phone and love saying happy birthday to Papa Diddy. Go ahead and check this out. Happy birthday to Daddy. Keep going. Happy birthday to Daddy. Keep going. Happy birthday to Daddy. Yay! I love y'all. I love y'all so much. We love you too. Love you, Papa. I can't wait to see y'all. Yeah. I can't wait to see y'all. I'm just gonna say I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all, especially the girls. I mean, all of y'all. But just for being strong. Thank y'all for being strong, and thank y'all for being by my mm -hmm. side and supporting me. I love y'all. I got the best family in the world. My birthday. I'm happy. Thanks to y'all giving me this call. Thank you very much. I love y'all. Love you, love you too. Can't so wait to see you, see you in a couple of days. See you in a couple of days. Yeah. I love you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she eating, yo, 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 Pops. Hi, we're right here. Chance right here on the phone too. Pops, uh, love eating all your cake, so you're not gonna have none left. <laughs> She's literally digging her face in yeah. it. Yeah, grab the body, you doing? <laughs> yo, yo, she's face down in the cake right now. <laughs> get it, love, get it. Say hey, Chance. Happy birthday to mommy. We love you. Chance is right here too. If you can hear on the phone, one more time. Hey, Chance. All right, so you guys just saw the video, and while she is a cute little girl, I'm not impressed, nor am I moved, okay? Um, you know, of course, what, what do you expect? That's their father. Of course, they're going to love him no matter what and, you know, wish him the best and sing to him happy birthday, but I'm not impressed. They should have kept this in the archives or in the drafts. They are simply doing this to humanize him and, you know, garner sympathy, and I have none for Diddy because, again, he didn't care that Cassie was somebody's daughter when he was whooping her ass and, you know, kicking her down the hall like a football he didn't care about all these other people that are coming out speaking against him he didn't care about all these other folks his children that he was allegedly abusing and you know not paying fairly and everything else so I feel no ways that he's not able to spend his 55th birthday with his children because of the decisions that Diddy chose to make end of story cute girl still not impressed next <laughs> where's my damn gavel
Y'all hear that? That's my gavel. Next. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Diddy. Um, him, him and his lawyers trying to get a gag order in place for his birthday as a birthday present. Um, and then his children singing happy birthday to him as well. How do y'all feel about this situation? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the video with a like and feel free to share the video as well. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.